Well, hello, YouTubers. I just wanted to show you us building my friend's house by Lake Pillsbury. This is what we've gone and done with three guys. Uh, how many weekends, guys? Three. Three weekends. It doesn't look like a lot of wood, but I'll tell you what. There's a lot of wood in this foundation. And I'm kind of being a stickler with these guys. I won't let them cut a single corner. I'm a perfectionist, so I'm keeping an eye on them. Thank you for watching the video. Hello, YouTubers. This is a house we're building near Pillsbury. My friend Michael. Uh, four guys, three weekends so far. It doesn't look like a lot of lumber in there, but there is a lot of lumber. Um, there's Jeff, his son, Cody, and Michael, the owner, and myself. I've been keeping an eye on them. I'm a perfectionist, so sometimes I'm hard, I'm hard on them, but they thank me a a afterwards, so... <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching the video. More to come. Well, hello YouTubers. This is what we've gotten done in a day and a half since the last video. Putting these glue lamps on the foundation. Um, we're using Simpson screws those glue lambs are so hard, if you start to try to pound a nail in it, forget it. it. Bends halfway. So, my buddy Jeffrey here got five boxes of those Simpson screws, but we ran out. Otherwise, we would have gotten this last row of glue lambs. Actually, Friedman Brothers, Jeff just said, ran out. Next is the joist going across the tops of these glue lambs. This is such a strong, strong foundation. It's, it's just wonderful. And the holes that are cut into the garage is where we tie in the floor from the house to the garage. Uh, we got a, a little help cleaning up underneath here, all the leaves and stuff and these humps are because when they drill the foundation holes, um, the dirt is piled up all around it. So we'll probably level that out a little bit, but we can only do so much. But the way these glue lambs are tied in, are these pockets. We lay inside of it. Then they go across all the way to the other side. Well, stay tuned. Every weekend I'll make a video and show you guys how far we're getting thank you for watching the video well hello youtubers this is the, the next day's progress on the house building all the glue lambs are in their pockets in the garage now there is only four of us we lost one of our main men uh, Jeffrey due to uh, his second COVID shot he was feeling like dog crap so we really missed him but he sent up replacements mark here broke the record for screws he did 450 screws <laughs> mike's been cutting like mad and all the blue limbs are in now now what's left is we go across with these joists all the way across this way 
and wherever there's a wall inside of the house there's a glue lamb also so that's what we got planned for next week hopefully uh, we have a full crew because those things are heavy and uh, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to that but we're gonna get her done we've got four more weekends before our first inspection and uh, I'm very pleased that we got to this point this was the bare minimum I wanted to get to for us to make that uh, inspection so thank you for watching the video and I'll oh uh, one one commenter asked how many square feet it is it's 1800 square feet total counting the the furnace room so it's a pretty big house and it's going to be very solid the specifications for the house engineering was to withstand 100 mile per hour winds so I, i'm seeing that fully in this uh his engineer plans uh, thank you for watching the video uh, i'll keep on posting as every weekend as we get done the next one is like i said the floor joists well hello youtubers the eye joists are going against the rim joists and we're starting to install them these things are heavy and thank God for the A-team Jeff Sons and a couple of their friends they loaded up the foundation for us with these other longer eye joists so we can complete the job we're a little pooped out uh, it was a long day Wherever you see uh, the double joist, eye joist, there's a wall, for instance, like here, and then out there, and then here. Uh, it's going to be easy to put the rim jo joist along here, but when we get out there, We've been using the uh, eye joist as a platform to put that rim joist on. This thing is super strong. Um, the A team consisted of five young youngsters, and I'm very thankful to them. Because us older guys, we're not we're not into moving that heavy weight. It's at a point where we can set them up, and then we cut the length right here on the edge, and then put them in place, uh, laying out the lines on on all all the beams and that we already have installed. So we got three more weekends before inspection. And I, I think we're on track. I would have liked to have gotten to getting this center part, but we're pooped out. And you start making mistakes if you keep going. And so we decided to call it a day. And I was telling Jeff, maybe we better come up on a Friday and get a Friday and Saturday in so we can get this complete. Then all that's necessary, he's got to have his plumbing on this line here going into the uh, septic in the garage, the, the connection to the septic in the garage. And then we're ready for inspection. Uh, Lord willing, we'll be ready. Thank you for watching the video. More to come. Well, hello, YouTubers. We got her done. All the eye joists are in, and it's all boxed in.
There's a few things we need to do for the inspection. A couple eye joists for walls. Three of them to be exact. And the plumbing. Sewage plumbing down below. That uh, was just three of us. And we went, we did the middle back. There's a lot of nails in this thing. Mike was saying 4,000 or something, I don't know. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, thank you for watching the video. And next is the floor and the walls going up. But first we have to pass this foundation inspection. There's a, a couple sheer walls within the center that have to be uh, the wood put on it. And on the end of the, uh, where it ties into the garage. And then there's going to be a door in the garage, the stairway into it. All these uh, footings that you see with the brackets are going to be for his porch going all the way around. This thing is solid. Here's Jeffrey. He was running the nail gun. Putting the tools away, calling it a day. Thank you for watching the video. Well, hello YouTubers. It's been a while since I've done a video on the project up here at Lake Pillsbury. Um, we haven't come up here for a while. This is all done by Mike, by himself. He's got the shear walls all in. The plumbing's all in. It's been inspected in past. So now I guess we're going to start. There's a footing that we have to put in here. And I'm walking around over here. That footing that I just showed you. And then we have a, another one over here. But all this was done by Mike. Um, I wanted to film this before we started any work today. I'm, I'm really impressed what Mike's got done. These are all his plumbing. Most of his plumbing is right on this wall here. And these bolts, they're going to end up going all the way up to the roof. Well, I'll, I'll be making more videos as we go along, but it's been a while since I made one. Thank you for watching the video. Well, I haven't made a video on the Mike's progress on his 
ranch because I haven't been able to get up here, but he's getting the porch stuff done and we're doing the exterior interior walls now. Let me see if I can get inside here. Everything's starting to drizzle. I can't complain about the whoop. Can't complain about that because we need the rain. Oh boy. Nine foot wall, interior walls. It's the outside deck going to be. Covered deck. That one corner four by four. <laughs> That's a tall one. So it's coming together. Hasn't got this on the pier box for this part of the porch but it's got the scaffolding set uh, the trusses are coming October 1st so we want to get all these interior walls in three big windows in the front here with the view and then this wall is going to come off of the existing garage and there's a door going into the garage. Here's the bathroom. And here's a, this is going to be a closet. I see the line here on the, for the wall here, but Gonna have a closet with a window in it. Sliding glass door here. Well, it's gonna be fun once we get these rafters and the roof on and we're working indoors. Thank you for watching the video. Well, all the interior walls are in. Nine foot walls. This wall here is a uh, support wall. This is gonna come out once we get the trusses set. We're all set to put the trusses in. <clears throat> this wall as well, this is all. So it's, when you take this wall out, it's gonna be a big living room. Kitchen's on the other side. Uh, we had the help of a uh, one of Jeff's, well, my friend as well, Steve. Hey, Steve, say say hi. Hi. Yeah, he shot a nail in his finger by accident, <laughs> but he's tough. <laughs> uh, he put all the top plate on there. Working fast.
I had to hump all the wood. So I was getting a little tired <laughs> trying to keep up with them, but we got her done. So tomorrow the trusses are coming, 9.15 in the morning. That's going to be a quantum leap. Thank you for watching the video. Okay, here's the first pick. The smaller truss, uh, trusses that go in the front of the three windows because the roof changes direction. Um, we had a little trouble getting the truck in. Um, we had to get a dozer up here and move the back end and but I'm happy we got him where he's going to be able to set all of the trusses, so. Yeah, it took us about two hours to get the truck where it is now. I guess he wants to reposition the choker. He's actually taking one block or shifting the blocks on the outrigger. This guy was amazing getting this truck in here. It's like threading a needle. Okay, he likes that better, I guess. Evidently, he set the trusses for the garage. What is what he was telling us. His name was on the job. Uh, we got a lot of help here today. Hey, Joe! Swinging over now. That guy down there with the hat, Joe Van Bond, was a foreman for me on the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay, so you're getting the general idea of what we're doing today. We wanted to start earlier, but 
took a lot of time to uh, get the truck in position. But I'm confident he's able to set all the trusses now in their place. They're all in the back of his truck there. And we'll get her done. Thank you for watching the video. Guys are tearing the plywood off of the garage so we can place this truss there and we're moving on to the other trusses we had a lot of trouble um, getting the truck in a good position we had it up here on this roadway but the he didn't like it um, so we moved it back down here we it was on solid ground and the trusses are well placed. I mean the outriggers are well placed. And he feels a lot more comfortable. Uh, Evidently, this rig costs like $400,000. It's going to go setting them across the garage onto the house. Hey, Joe, say hi to the camera. This is Joe Van Bond. It was a foreman for me on the Golden Gate Bridge. So happy to have him here. strapped on the back end here.
That's to grab one more truss. He's got 80 foot of boom on that rig of his. So that's not going to be enough to uh, spread them out all the way across. So we're going to have to muscle them over. But we got a lot of help today. Evidently that's all his boom right there. Oh no, he's got more boom. Well, if he booms down, we're not we're gonna get a little bit, but not much. Oh no, we want to pull the other ones off first, right? Okay, okay. Well, once. 
Okay. Hey Jeff, when this when this lands, we want it to flop back to the garage. Towards me. Yes, sir. So I'll let it touch, and then I'll have to start sucking the boom in. Okay. Cody, does that sound right? Yeah, ma'am. Oh, he, he can't hear with it. I think we're going to boom it down until it touches, and I'll have to start sucking the boom in. Yeah, Joe there. was one hell of a foreman on the bridge. And then once it touches, I have to I say that. The, uh, say hi to the camera, Joe. Mm -hmm. He was one of my main foremen on the bridge. Okay, he's booming down now. No, I'm watching that. He's got room. He can see that. We we'll clear the other side like like it's supposed to. Um, you want to suck in, suck it in, suck the boom in. Okay, hold on. Stop. You want to? We're gonna hit over here. Okay, we need that to be inside there. Hold on. Can we come up a little? And I think he's going to that. He's going to the far end, right? Yeah, what he described to me was these are going to go to that far end. So. Am I on the plate? Yeah, but we have to keep it short. Okay, I'm going to end the video here because. In order to land it. So what I need I gotta to do. I got to step in here and help the guys. Maybe come up a little bit with the load and then start to suck it in. Thank you for watching the video. Way across to the other side and then we'll be able to take out these false walls this could come out now. Oh, these guys have been busting their ass Joe right, Van Vaughn Steve Jeff Mike I've been feeding them lumber and there's Jeff's father over there he's the superintendent he barks orders every once in a while but um yes this is a quantum leap that way and flop them and then that, that way you can start here in the middle and all the other ones you need on that side are on the a lot of measuring to make sure that when we set this one truss that has three of them glued together to support the weight of the other end of this truss we made sure that the eaves are going to end up on the right side of there so it was a lot of measuring but we got it right this outer wall here we sheeted it and we notched it so the eaves will be sticking out when we, when we start sheeting the roof that took a little time but um Now they're spacing the uh, with the blocking, and then we're gonna put a diagonal to hold everything plumb. There's Steve, our carpenter. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, where's one of those screws that holds the uh, five sixteenths by six? These are the screws. To go through the double plate going up into the trusses on the walls on the walls to hold them in place i mean these things are unreal six inches long or something five sixteenths uh, yep there's jeffrey jeffrey's been humping it his father and son right there. Um, yeah, why don't you move your ladder over and I'll, I'll, I'll kind of position it and then uh, there's the ladder. There's Jeff's father. He's the superintendent on the job. He's barking orders That's left and right, you know. Okay. <laughs> get your hammer, get your nails, go. <laughs> yeah, he, he's not cutting us any I slack. You know? There's Jeffrey. He he gets in there and he, look at his face is red from working. Son. Uh, <laughs> son. son. Everybody out of the pool. So we're all happy because uh, this was a quantum loop. And uh, the next step is to finish the roof here in this big, this big living room. And 
the trusses coming from the garage are right there, up there on the top there. You see them in a bundle. And we'll be able to, we'll start, we'll walk them out over to here, tying in with these other trusses and go back and we'll do the same thing on the other end. We'll work from this wall and go back and we'll have it all done. But I'm really glad that we got that outer truss uh, sheetrock, I mean, not sheetrock, but with that, whatever you call that plywood that's glued together. So it's super strong. And um, Joe wasn't going to quit until we got this three glue lamb piece in. Same with Steve, wherever he's at. And there's Michael. He's the owner of the property. He's going to own a beautiful home with no mortgage. So he's all happy about that one. <laughs> Thank you for watching the video. Okay, this is where we're ending up at the end of the day. You see how these tie in to the part that we did this morning. There's uh, my buddy Hoggy Jeffrey. And there's Joe and Steve. That Joe Van Bond, he, he won't let up. He keeps on dragging those uh, trusses out and he wants us to set another one. He's not letting no, up. God, uh... I'm not quitting yet. <laughs> and there's the owner, Michael. He's happier than shit. He thought we were only going to get two trusses up. <laughs> tried to leave. Mike wouldn't let us. He's got the road blocked down below. So, we did good today. This is called Friends Being Friends, Helping yep. Others Out. This man's an expert carpenter. He had to plumb us up a couple Here times. Let me, hold on, Joe. I'm part of my path. Here we go with another one. See this wall here, We're gonna put a block in. Put it's just in. a false wall. They're tying into this, I already told you that three glue lambed or nailed. I see there's a lot of nails in it. I got it, Joe. Super strong. Long level to make sure we're doing everything correctly. Jeffrey. I've been getting on them about this brace over here and they're making fun of me now. I told them, I said, put that brace going towards the windows. And they've been fighting that damn brace all since they didn't want to listen to me. You know, they don't want to listen to the old man. So, <laughs> look at Michael smiling. They've been teasing me all, all afternoon. It's that fucking brace. Oh, sorry about the language. Look at, see, see, Joe, he's moving it all by himself. He, he's not waiting on anybody. He's, that's why he was a foreman on the bridge. They call him pushers in the iron workers. He's a pusher, all right. <laughs> well, it's going to be a pizza night tonight. Uh, this is looking good. Well, I wanted to make this second video because I, I didn't realize that we were going to keep going. I thought we were going to end on that, that one wall, but once we started moving these trusses around and everything, we said, what the hell, let's, let's go all the way across the living room. Let's be men. So this is, this is going to be a, 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 a very large right, living room. This wall that I'm filming here and this center wall get taken out so it, it's going to be pretty big hey boys everybody have a problem here they're sanding another one up 
got five on this side. We've got these 22 and a half inch spacers, so they're 24 inch on center. And uh, you can see they're tying them in on, on the upper part of the rafter. And then you got the spacers there on the wall that's coming out. So Joe's using a spacer now to make sure that he's got the right spread. We start sheeting this roof, our plywood's going to be perfect. I got a feeling we're going to end up doing this whole living room. Joe's not letting up, so I'm going to stop filming here. Thank you for watching the video. Well, hello, YouTubers. It's only three of us this time, and uh, we got got it. We're now. The pieces start going that way to the porch beam you see there. The whole living room is done. And then the last section here, we're going to get next week. I use muscles that I haven't used in a long time. I'm tired. <laughs> but uh, we got a lot done. So, a lot of bracing in there, and it's coming together. Thank you for watching the video. Well, hello, YouTubers. This is where the roof truss transitions onto the porch. But we got all the big boys in. There's only three of us, but those trusses that went to the garage weren't as hard as uh, I thought it was going to be. It went pretty good. So we get this last section in over here. Going to sheet it and roof it. Tyvek the outside of the house. Probably not cut the windows or anything so he's able to work on it if, if it's raining. And it's coming together. We're really happy. There's there's one truss that it's in between there and the garage that Mike has to uh, take a little time to set it correctly. But being that we got this last truss in, if you notice, it's got a lot of uh, wood there, and he's able to. Get that truss exactly perfect and screw into this other truss and then block up from the double plate of the garage. So they're a little out of whack right now because when you put the sheeting on, you lay out the sheeting. So you pull the sheeting, the trusses into the, we, we mark the plywood, the roofing material, four inch. 24 inch on center and so on the eave end and then going up the trusses we keep on marking them so by the time we get to the top everything's 24 inch on center so basically I think the hard work's done these pieces on the end over here are not full trusses they're you see, you see through the window there, you can see them. They're partial trusses. And um, you can see a better through the bigger door there. Those are the ones that go from the end to the porch. Now, we, we're going to have to set something up that we're not walking on air over here. Um, he's got another scaffold and we've got a little work to do to set up to do this end but after that's done the roof will go easy thank you for watching the video well hello youtubers we're finally sheeting the roof Joe and his son came up Got to hump all these sheets up here. 
But it's looking good. We'll get to the top and then we'll do the other side. We still got to sheet this whole side. And the other side of the house. But it's starting to look like a home now. And um, we have to get a nailing inspection before we can uh, put the roof on. So we want to make sure you have the correct amount of nails holding those, that plywood down. It's half inch plywood. And um, oh, I'm a little pooped, but pleased. If you notice, Joe doesn't stop working. Everyone else has stopped working, but he's still nailing. Let it up, let it up, Joe, come on. Take a break. That's why he was a boss on the Golden Gate Bridge. Thank you very much for watching the video.